Analog horror effects. There are many different types of effects to create that specific look. These effects that I'm going to go over are essential to make that unique aesthetic. I'm going to show you some popular analog horror effects. To start off, I'm going to select my clip. I'm going to add grain. Go to the viewing mode and change the preview to final output. Change the intensity down or up depending on your clip. You can also mess around with the sizing. Next, I'm going to add mosaic. Increase the horizontal and vertical blocks to around 200 or more depending on your clip. But for me, 200 works perfectly. I have a free analog horror presets pack on my website for completely free. No plugins needed. Next, I'm going to apply some Gaussian blur. I'm going to put the blurriness to around 5 or so. But again, tune it to your liking. This next effect that I'm going to apply is called Tint. It is one of the most popular effects that I've seen among many analog horror. To complement the tint, I'm going to apply some curves. Click on this section and on this section. Move the top upwards and the bottom one down so we can have this dramatic, contrasty look. Now I'm going to apply some flicker. If you guys don't have the Sapphire plugin, I'm going to leave a tutorial down in the description below so you can make a flicker effect without plugins. I'm going to show you guys some additional effects to apply to your analog horror. First up is a camera shake. We can apply some camera shakes by either using a plugin or we can use this preset that I'm going to leave linked down in the description below for absolutely free. No plugins needed. This is with the camera shake and this is without. As we can see, both are equally as good. But add different types of tension. Next, I'm going to add in another adjustment layer. And the next effect that I'm going to use is CC Vignette. We can mess around with the amount and center it to your liking. And finally, for this last effect, I'm going to disable my tint effect. And I'm going to add in another adjustment layer by pressing Control alt y Add in CC Threshold RGB. And now we're going to click on the stopwatch blend with original. Move this first point a couple frames ahead. And now change the value all the way to 100. So we can have this creepy effect. We can go back to the first initial effects and we can turn on the tint again and it'll work just as fine. On my website, I have a whole bunch of free packs for you guys to use. And if you guys want to support me and upgrade your visuals, check out this specific pack that has analog overlays that works perfectly for analog horror. And if you made it this far, use this discount code for $5 off. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.